Hi everyone, this is Teacher Tianshi from Sync Academy, and today is our day four rocket okay, camp, and we are going to walk through two questions related to the quadratic equation and also linear equation. So quadratic equation is a very important topic in the world of algebra, and let's go over the questions together. The first one, we need to solve the following quadratic equation by completing the square, okay? So the question already tells us which method we should use to solve for this quadratic equation. So basically for the first one, let's try to do it. So here we have 4x squared minus 6x minus 10 equals to 0. And the first thing we need to do is to change the coefficient for the highest term, x squared, to be 1. So what do we have? We have x squared minus 6 divided by 4x and then minus 10 divided by 4 equals to 0. And after doing the simplification, okay, so doing the simplification, we get this part, okay, so equals to 10 divided by 4. And then actually we know that to complete the square, we need to have a perfect square here. So what should we add? We should add here, the square of 3 divided by 4, so that it will become a square of something, a perfect square. So here on the left side, we will have here. And on the right side, we will have the square of 3 over 4, which is 9 over 16, OK? So on the left side, we can finally complete the square by doing x minus 3 over 4 and then do the square thing equals to 16. And what do we have now? So 16 is 49. So here is the most tricky part. So do you think that x minus 3 over 4 equals to 4, 7 over 4 is the only answer? Actually, the answer is no, because we can have both positive and negative answer. So actually, x has two solutions. It can be either 7 over 4 or negative 7 over 4. OK, so there are two answers. So the first solution is 11 over 4. Or x can be also which value? So x can be also 1, OK? Negative 7 over 4 plus 3. OK, so this one will be which value? What is the result for this one? Actually, it's negative 1, OK? So negative 7 over 4 plus 3 over 4. So the result will be negative 1. And here is the hint. So for this type of questions, the first thing is to convert the coefficient for x squared to be 1. And then we need to add a term so that we can complete a perfect square. And then this part is very important. We always have two solutions for them, OK? And let's use the same method to solve for the second question together. So the second question, 3x squared minus 4x minus 4 equals to 0, OK? So change the coefficient for x squared to be zero, to be 1, OK? x squared minus 4 over 3x equals to 4 over 3. And then we need to complete the square, right? The second step, complete the square. x squared minus 4 over 3x plus and then we will have 2 over 3 and then do the square thing equals to 4 over 3 plus 4 over 9. And then what do we have on the left side? It is the square of x minus 3 over 2 equals to which value? So here is 16, right? Because after doing the calculation, it is, uh, is which value? 12 over 9 plus 4 over 9. So it's 16 over 9. And here is the trickiest part, right? We always have two values. The first one is x minus 2 over 3 equals to 4 over 3. And we also have a second condition, OK? Second condition is that x minus 2 over 3 equals to minus 4 over 3. And what do we have? The first condition is 2, right? And what about the second one? Second one, the answer will be negative 2 over 3. So the second one also have two solutions. And let's try for one more question. The third one use the exact same method, OK? So first of all, let's do the calculation and convert the coefficient for x squared to be 1. And what do we get? 
x squared minus 3 over 2x and plus 3 over 4 squared equals to 1 plus 9 over 16, okay? So on the left side, it's x minus 3 over 4 squared. Okay, x minus 3 over 4 squared. And on the right side, what is the value? It's 25 over 16, okay? So 25 over 16 here is the two parts, okay? So x minus 3 over 4 can either be 5 over 4, or it can be another. x minus 3 over 4 can either be the other condition, okay, minus 5 over 4. So what is the result for the last question? It will be either 8 over 4. Okay, 8 over 4 is which value? It's 2. Or which value? x equals to negative uh, 5 over 4 plus 3 over 4. So it's negative a half, right? So these two answers will be the answer for the last question. And for completing square, we know that first time, First thing to do is to uh, convert the coefficient for x squared to be 1 and then just complete the square. And after like completing the square, we always need to remember we always have two solutions for them. Okay, and let's do one more question about linear equation word problems. So basically, this is a graph showing that a road is built by a team, okay? And the figure below the relationship, like show the relationship between the road length and the time. And after six days, we want to calculate what is the length of the road built. So for this question, basically, we just want to calculate what is the y-coordinate, right? What is the y-coordinate for this point? So what is this point? So do you think we need to calculate what is the exact value for the linear equation? Like y equals mx plus v? We can definitely do it. But actually, the easiest part for this question is to remember for linear equation, the ratio between y to x, the change in y to the change in x should always stay the same, right? Because m is constant. And then for this question here, do we know what is the change in y divided by change in x? The change in y divided by change in x is just 300 minus 200 divided by 2 minus 4 minus 2. So it's one hand oh so is 100 here. So the result is just 80 divided by 2. Okay, so what is the m? M is just 40, right? And then we want to calculate what is here. What is the y coordinate for this point? So it should be 40 as well because this is a linear equation. So the change in y divided by the change in x should be 40 as well. So the change in y should be the thing we don't know, minus 300. Divided by the change in x is 6 minus 4. So which value minus 300 divided by 2 is 40? Then we can just do the calculation. Okay, so 80 equals to which value minus 300? So that value will just be 380. Okay, so for this question, actually, this is the most like easiest version to do this question. Just to remember for linear equation, m will always stay the same. So we can just find the relationship between the change in y to the change in x. And then we can solve this question in a convenient way. Okay, guys, so that's all for today. I'm, I'm looking forward to see you in tomorrow's practice. Bye, guys.